We demand justice for victims of the Minister of Health and Hanabi crimes committed against humanity. We fully understand the public anger in reaction to the stench of corruption coming from the Minister of Health. The Minister of Health awarded Hanabi the contract to supply drugs, surgical gloves, and other life-saving items, and also went ahead to authorize usage of these, despite knowing too well that these medicines, this equipment, failed the quality control tests. This is unacceptable. We also are cognizant that, just like many other injustices that our people have been subjected to, nothing will be done to the non-perpetrators of this crime against humanity. And an evil regime does not choose on who to inflict pain or exploit. I want to repeat this. An evil regime does not choose on whom to inflict pain or exploit. These unsafe medical supplies are being used and consumed by everybody, regardless of political affiliation, while those who are involved in this scam are enjoying the loot. They are living large, living like very rich men, when everybody lives in poverty. This is sad. The sad situation that has now been created is where citizens are losing confidence in our country's health care services. This loss of trust subsequently endangers the lives of our citizens as they resort to seeking health care from unregistered and unregulated medical pro providers across the country. It further saddens us greatly to learn that even our health workers who are working very hard, sacrificing their lives, have also been put in harm's way by this regime. That they gave defective personal protective equipment, knowing too well that this equipment is not going to protect our health workers. What do we call this? This action by the PF government is not only reckless, but criminal, as it amounts to crimes against humanity. Zambians must open their eyes to what is going on. They are not just dying of hunger. They are not just dying of the COVID-19 virus and the new variant, which is difficult you know, to handle. They are also being killed by their own government, the government that they put to protect them. This is unacceptable, and we must bring it to an end as citizens of Zambia working together. I ask fellow citizens not to lose hope because help is on the way. We must remain strong, work together for the greater good of our children, our grandchildren, and our country. I thank you.